Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5. We're going to be doing a video on the new trailer for the next episode, titled Reality Bites. And also we've got a synopsis for the Alex as Supergirl episode. I'm very excited for that, and I can't wait to talk about it. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first off, we're going to talk about the synopsis, and then we'll go into the trailer, because I think the synopsis is really interesting, because, you know, this is a, like, a whole new thing, this is really interesting, because she's supposed to be sort of this version of Supergirl, and we'll have to wait and see as to what that entails, but this is how the synopsis goes. Alex takes on a new role. Alex uses a pair of obsidian contact lenses to visit a virtual national city where she takes on a whole new persona. Meanwhile, Kelly helps William investigate Lex. Kara deals with difficult news. Okay, so that's like three different bits. The bit we want to talk about most is Alex. So just to refresh you guys, this photo on the screen right here is Alex. This is Kyla in the Supergirl costume. You know, this is an inverted costume. It's all black and it's blue. And it's a real thing they made, and obviously she's got the Supergirl wig on to look like Kara, to look like how Melissa's hair is now. Obviously it's a wig, so it's not going to be perfectly accurate. But she looks so cool, and everyone has been hyped about this. And I think some of you guys maybe forgot about it recently, because there's been a lot of other stuff going on. You know, we had the 100 episodes, you have the stuff going on right now with William and Kara. There's lots of stuff to distract us. But I think this is really cool and we shouldn't forget about it because I love the look of the suit and I love the look of this episode and the whole concept I think is absolutely fantastic and I think it's going to be a episode not to miss. So yeah, Alex takes on a new role. What role is that? That's the role of Supergirl. And obviously as of right now we don't know like how far into, you know, Alex as Supergirl are they gonna go like is she gonna be like flying around like saving the city does she have her powers or anything like that like what's going on but because it suggests that this is inside like her mind inside a virtual national city using the obsidian contact lenses you would have to presume she does have all the powers of Supergirl so we're gonna see that we're gonna see Alex using her powers and, you know, she's going to be fully suited up in this new version of the Supergirl costume, which is going to be, you know, for her. But also in this virtual reality, they're going to make her hair obviously go long and look like Supergirl. So that's going to be a sort of new persona that is a mix between her, I guess, and Supergirl in this version of National City. So let's move on to the next bit. The next bit of the synopsis says Kelly helps William investigate Lex. So this is a thread that has gone on a little bit. Like William has been looking into Lex, but nothing too much in the past like few episodes or anything like that. I think this is just a way for them to interweave Kelly in because really she's had nothing to do for like God knows how many episodes. Like last episode she had one moment and it was a nice moment with Alex at the start of the episode and Kara but she hasn't had much to do at all and I think that's due to the fact that the Obsidian Tech stuff is not in the forefront and is very much so in the background and it's not that interesting to be honest compared to some of the other stuff this season so yeah I guess that's why they are sort of teaming her up with William to investigate Lex because William is very suspicious of Lex. And so Kara deals with difficult news. What is this difficult news? I mean, it could be anything. It could be like a death. It could be like someone betraying her. It could be to do with Lena. I feel like it's to do with Lena or it could be to do with that Alex is inside this virtual reality. Maybe she can't actually like get out. What happens if Alex dies in this virtual reality? Does it happen in the real world? Something like that. I'm thinking it's either to do with Alex or to do with Lena. I mean, it could be something completely different, but that's the way I'm thinking about it right now. So if it's Lena, it's going to be, you know, she has gone ahead with her plans and she finds out that, you know, Lena's gone down this dark path and that they will never be friends again. But I don't know how likely that is. I think it's probably more likely that this is in reference to Alex and the fact that she's gone into this virtual version of National City. She's Supergirl and maybe she is stuck there. Maybe it's too enticing. Maybe it's like... Oh, I can be Supergirl in this version of reality and maybe it becomes addicting like they sort of did that storyline last episode so maybe Alex becomes addicted and she's stuck in this virtual reality 
and this is when Kara gets that news. So, yeah, what do you think about all of that? I'm super excited for this episode, it sounds like a really good episode. But anyway, so let's move on to the trailer for next week's episode. So, the first shot of the trailer, we get Kara sitting down, and we're pretty damn sure this is due to the fact that Melissa was pregnant when they were filming this, and obviously the clothing doesn't help, it kind of looks like hospital kind of clothing, obviously it's just pyjamas or something like that. You know, she looks cool, but lots of people online have been theorizing that, you know, she's going to be maybe taking a step back or something like that. I feel like she's actually going to do, like, a lot of stuff, even though she is most definitely probably pregnant by the time they filmed this episode. But I feel like she's going to be, like, involved, like, a lot. As you can see in other shots in the trailer, you know, Kara's there, Kara's around. It's just at this certain point she's sitting down, and I think that's William. I'm not sure. It's in her house. Like, are they together? Are they, like, properly dating? Is he around her house or something like that? And she's in pajamas in front of him? I don't know what's up, but that may be something to sort of look into because maybe that's a hint as to what's going on with those two. But also, you know, she's talking about like Nia, basically. This is a Nia episode, this is a Dreamer episode, and she's talking about the fact that maybe she wants to sit down sometimes, maybe she wants to take a break, and I've got someone out there who can do the superheroing for me, and that is obviously Nia, and so this is in response to the stuff that happens towards Nia this episode. So yeah, let's move on to the next shot. We've got Nia as she faces this sort of tsunami that is coming towards her. I don't know how she's gonna stop it. It's fucking massive, I'll tell you that. But you know, she's gonna use her dreamer powers in some way and it looks like she is quite relaxed in this shot, reverse shot where it goes back and you see her reaction to her using her powers on this. So she is obviously superheroing and this is an example of her being a good superhero. Then we go to this like kind of purple lit dark alley and you get this confrontation with this person right here. Don't know who it is. However, there is this guy later in the episode who she's beaten up and she's like, oh, did you expect me or something like that? You know, and then she proceeds to beat him up. Basically, if you read the synopsis or watched my video the other day, what is happening is this episode is to do with Nia and to do with this villain, this person. I don't even think he's like a main villain, but I think he's like a person with a very, very, very big prejudice towards transgenders. And so in this episode, Nia has to deal with the fact that this guy is coming after her just because, you know, he doesn't like who she is and the fact that maybe she's not like a good role model, I think he says in the trailer. And obviously that's completely out of whack. And I think it's going to be a sort of good episode where we get to explore the sort of transphobia that there is definitely out there in the world. And I think it's good that it's like one single episode where they can focus on this issue. And I'm very much so looking forward to it because I think they're going to do a good job. And this trailer is cool. However, obviously, I don't think the fight scene looks very good towards the end of the trailer, which we'll get to in just a moment. But anyway, so let's move on. So we got the shot of Nia. She looks like she's just in Catco or something like that, but she looks kind of a bit angry. So maybe this is like part of the aftermath of being, you know, called out by this dude. And I'm pretty sure that is actually the aftermath because in the next shot we get to see her as she goes to hug Kara, probably in Catco again, and she's wearing the same clothes. So it does seem like this is like a reaction to what has been told to her. And then Kara tries to comfort her a little bit in this next shot. In the trailer and then we go back to the alley we got this guy with a knife so i don't think he has superpowers so it's just like some random kind of like agent liberty kind of dude like on the street with like a big problem with someone and you know he's gonna try and kill her even though she's a fucking superhero who can whoop his ass anyway so let's move on to the next shot and we've got nia as she's talking to kara same jumper kind of looks maybe like a different location could be on the same day though so we go we actually see this guy it's not like super well lit you can't really see his face that much but it's just like some random dude and nia drops in out of nowhere and she's like expecting me or something like that she drops the line and it's really good and then they proceed to have a fight the fight doesn't look the best but you know what you're gonna do it's just some random dude he's probably never fought before he's done like a few fight scenes on the tv show before or something like that but anyway so that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it please be sure to subscribe for more content from me and also please be sure to like this video as well so i'll catch you guys later goodbye
icy room.